Five horrible scenes about injured animals. Hello guys, welcome back to Discover the Mystery. Today, let's watch five horrible scenes about injured animals. Number one. Zebra mortally wounded by lions. In the Maizimara, this zebra that had escaped a lion attack, this terrible injury is likely to be the death of this zebra. It is not a zoo that requires human intervention for the effective management of animal well-being. Truly sad to see, but also understanding these things happen. Nature is so beautiful, but also cruel. You can't help that zebra, but can only hope it was soon after put out of its misery. That will feed quite a few animals, and the circle of life continues. I understand the need to let nature take its course, but it would be good if they could implement a protocol that allowed them to put down mortally wounded or ill animals, hastening the inevitable to alleviate suffering. Remember seeing some crocodiles attack a zebra in a show? They bit its belly and the poor thing was running for its life with its entire gut system falling out. The zebra got a great distance away, yet succumbed to the injuries. Number 2 It was about a young female zebra with some really horrible injuries to her body. I really feel a little bit sorry for the saber, especially because it's all on its own and you can desperately see it's wandering around aimlessly. It's trying to find the rest of the herd. My suspicion would be that one lioness tried to grab her and unfortunately got on the wrong side of the hoofs of that zebra and ended up falling off of the zebra and the zebra made an escape. What we were hoping would be a recovery, and we saw her three more times after the incident. I don't think we have any idea what the chances are. That's a severe injury, but it's not internal. However, remember animals are resilient, and even though she had disappeared, it doesn't mean that she had passed on. Who knows, in a couple of months time, she may come rejoining again here and we see the server with the most unusual markings. And that one day we will see her back in action, fully recovered and healthy, and who knows, maybe bearing a fall by her side. Number 3 In this footage, we will see an injured leopard at Rosie's pan. When this beautiful leopard stood up, we could see a nasty rip in her flank. She drinks a lot of water. Rarely to see a scene, she is so gentle like this. Obviously, she is so tired now, or so hungry. Though we can see a nasty rip in the flank, must be from a lion or hyena. While leopards don't really have any natural predators, they do have to keep a watchful eye out for lions hyenas, and African wild dogs which won't hesitate to attack, kill, and eat them if the chance presents itself. This is because they all live in the same habitat and compete for scarce food sources. Due to their size and strength, adults don't have all too much to fear, though as they avoid aggression and confrontation by retreating up trees. Defenseless, some weak leopard, however, have a very high mortality rate, particularly in their first year, and are often eaten by other predators. In other areas, leopards also have to watch out for both tigers and bears, with humans and habit loss, of course, being the main threats they face globally. Zombie whitetail buck in southern Illinois with massive wound. 
Southern Illinois whitetail buck with massive wound injury. How could this happen? And he is still alive? We think he got clipped by a combine while hunkering down in a cornfield being harvested. I can believe it was a combine. The back strap has some muscle to it, but it's mostly fur and no serious blood vessels running through it. The fact it still got hit there and survived is still amazing. Given just by looking over the area cut, the spine was missed by likely inches if not less. I'm going to guess he survived a bear attack. Predators like mountain lions typically snap the neck before eating and people typically kill deer by shooting them. Bears will literally tear you apart while you are still alive. I could be 100% wrong about this. Just my wild guess. Number 5 Crocodile attack wildebeest fail. The prey still dies because of the broken leg. A lucky wildebeest narrowly avoided the death from jaws of a hungry crocodile that was lurking in a river. Many wildebeest traverse the dangerous waters in order to drink water, and some also for the progress on their journey. But the rivers are plagued with hungry crocodiles awaiting an easy meal. Several notice the crocodile and step back, but others are surging forward, seemingly unaware of the threat. The heart-stopping video shows a crocodile lurking in the murky water. The wildebeest approaches the scaly beast as the crocodile opens its mouth and bares its razor-sharp teeth. Whether the wildebeest managed to struggle away, or the crocodile simply let go to get a better position, one will never know. Once free, but still with a gaping wound in its hindquarters, the wildebeest struggled to stand and at one point seemed to be making good progress to the shore, but the crocodile simply circled and reappeared. The crocodile dragged the weakened wildebeest's head underwater one last time and held it there. The struggle was so bad. Pushing the prey with its nose, the crocodile guided the dead wildebeest to the shore where it maneuvered to get a better grip on it before swimming away to stow its meal for later. The wildebeest got huge injured but still escape and run away to safety. The crocodile was not really trying hard enough, as it had already eaten plenty of wildebeest and was full. The wildebeest with huge injured was so hard to fight for his life until he cannot try anymore. I feel so bad for the animal, why couldn't you fix his leg prayers? The Great Migration is considered the world's largest migration of wildlife, with over 2 million wildebeest, zebra, and gazelles moving from Tanzania to Kenya each year. Nearly 250,000 wildebeest died during the migration, many to drowning and crocodile attack. Thank you guys for watching with us. Please support us with a like and subscribe. See you soon.